the 710 tunnel is officially dead. What ran even deeper than the would-be tunnel was the bad blood between South Pasadena and Alhambra. They've been fighting over what to do with the 710 gap for 20 years. You know, if you have two squabbling parents but an impressionable child, what's, you know, what's greater, you know, themselves or, you know, what they're responsible for? That older generation of council people was really pretty bad. That's Barbara Messina. She's earned a notorious reputation in South Pasadena for being one of the fiercest tunnel advocates in 710 history. She tried to buy a book there, but the cashier wouldn't sell it to her. And I remember telling her, really? I mean, this was before I even was um, willing to shop in South Pasadena if I saw something I liked. But that cured me. South Pasadena Council Member Marina Kubestrian tried to reach out to Messina to start peace. South Pasadena Council Members and locals didn't like that. There was even, uh, you know, sort of a, a do not sit down with the enemy kind of an approach. Alhambans have been fighting South Pasadenans over the past several decades because of this intersection here behind me, which is the one between Valley Boulevard and Fremont Avenue. As you can see, traffic spills onto these streets from commuters coming off the 710 and the 10, causing smoke and noise pollution. Councilwoman Barbara Messina has even had to attend the funeral of two children who have suffered from respiratory problems because of the traffic. Now, these foes are slowly leaving their bitter past behind them. Some of the um, newer council members there um, are very kind of excited about moving beyond this. For Kubestrian, the death of the tunnel marked the beginning of a healing process. For veterans like Messina, the outcome was hard to swallow. It made me feel very disappointed in society. At some point, I felt like I just wasted all those years of my life. 